Hello, thank you for choosing Apollo Display Technologies. In this video, I will provide a brief overview of our Prisma Media Eco LCD controller and a quick tutorial on how to correctly connect up your complete kit. Our Prisma Media Eco controller has VGA, HDMI, and a display port right on board. It takes a standard 12 volt DC power and is available with or without an integrated audio amplifier. The Prisma Media Eco supports all single and dual channel LVDS panels up to 1920 by 1200. It can be controlled remotely via serial RS-232 or an infrared remote control. We also have configuration software called Chandler Rover, available to allow the end user to customize many parameters, providing truly a unique product. It is important to note when making all connections, ensure the connectors are straight and in the correct orientation for proper insertion. When disconnecting, it is important not to pull on the cable. It's best to use a small flathead or tweezers to pry the connector from the housing. Pulling from the wire can damage crimps or break the wires. Start by finding the LVDS cable and the LVDS input on the rear of the LCD. Identify the end which connects to the LCD Check the tabs on the connector versus the LVDS input housing, ensure it's properly aligned, and make the connection. Take the opposite end, ensure the crimp tabs are facing upwards as shown, and make the connection to CN10 and CN11, the output on the Prisma controller. Now find the LED converter cable. Identify the end which connects to the LCD, Check the tabs on the connector versus the housing, ensure it's properly aligned, and make the connection. Take the opposite end, ensure the crimp tabs are facing down as shown, and make the connection to CN13, the backlight output on the Prisma controller. Now find the OSD buttons cable. Check the tabs on the connector, Take one end and connect to the OSD board. Take the opposite end, ensure the crimp tabs are facing down as shown, and make the connection to CN7, the keypad output on the Prisma controller. Next, you can plug in your video interface. Finally, you can connect your power supply. The Prisma should power on automatically and sync up to the active point. That wraps up the Prisma Media Eco. Thank you for your time and we hope to hear from you soon.